Thanks for the support as a channel member, Martin Cooper. Well, boys and girls, it is the World Cup final. It is number one world ranked England against number two world ranked Germany in Germany. And we're without one of our best players who got sent off in the semi final. This is going to be interesting. Hello and welcome to part four of my series ending World Cup extravaganza with England. It's still not the name. I hope Future Kev comes up with a good one before he uploads these videos. Um, today we play Germany in the World Cup final. I'm Kev. I normally say that at the start. Let's face it, you know who I am. If you're watching this, this is a very niche video. If you're watching this one, you already know who I am. You already know how we got here. It's England. It's Germany. It's a World Cup final. It's the final match of the entire series. We will have the World Cup final today. Tomorrow, we'll come back for the five years in the future and have a look at Bourne and England, because obviously that will take us to the next World Cup as well. So we'll get to see how England get on in the following four years without me. And, um, and then we're done before coming back on Monday at 4 p.m. for the start of my new series, which is a director of football save with Chivas in Mexico, who can only sign Mexican players. That is going to be an interesting series. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is England and a World Cup final. And this is the team we're putting out there. We've got Bevins in goal. A back four of Wilson, Shelley, Nixon, Burke and Frost. Barrett is going to play in the holding midfield role, mainly because Diallo is a broken man after his exploits in the semi-final. Similar story for Diallo and Daniel, really. They're both shattered and Jeff Bruce. All of them absolutely shattered. They'll come on later in the game. We can't risk starting them. So Barrett is going to play in midfield. Lind and Emmanuel ahead of him. And then Collier is in for Cook, who's now fit again after his injury earlier in the tournament. Gray, who scored the winning goal to get us into the final, out wide on the right. And Steve Newell up front, who, quite apart from anything else, he just has ridiculous levels of fitness because he's played every game in this tournament and his fitness levels have never dropped. He's, I was going to say, either he has absurd natural fitness... Or he just doesn't try very hard. I think it's probably, I think it's probably the first one. Although for a player of his quality to have only scored two goals in the tournament so far, suggests him, there might be a little bit of the second one sneaking in as well. But we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps he's saving all his goal, goals for Germany in the final. A hat trick today, and he gets almost to a goal a game for the tournament. And his England career is almost a goal a game. So it averages outright if he does that. So that's what we're hoping for. It is going to be quite hostile here because we are in Germany. It's Germany in the final. We expect to keep our own form going. Oh, we're playing against Germany in a World Cup final and we're wearing the red kit. It feels like it's, it feels like it's meant to be. 76 years later, can England win the World Cup for the second time in their history? I think we've just won a penalty. If Newell misses it again, that's him done for the final. If he scores it, we might actually get a Steve Newell performance. And he scores this one after missing a penalty in the semi-final. Steve Newell steps up in the final and puts us 1-0 up against Germany with seven minutes on the clock. It's Germany 0, England 1 in the World Cup final. And our greatest ever player, Steve Newell, is the man who's got the opening goal, albeit from the penalty spot. But I don't care how he does it. It was supposed to be the Steve Newell tournament. It really hasn't been. Let's make it the Steve Newell final because he deserves it to be based on that career that he's had. Wilson now on the left-hand side. I'm losing my voice. I've recorded this entire World Cup back-to-back -back and my voice is going. This has been a longer recording session than a normal stream would be. And I shout a lot more in my videos. So my voice is giving up on me. Um, apologies as well for the air conditioning noise in the background. It's, it's the middle of the heat wave when I recorded all these videos. There's no way I could have got this World Cup done for you if I didn't have the air conditioning on while I did it. And now Collier is injured again for the second time in this World Cup. And this time we don't have Cook to bring on for him. We don't really have anyone to bring on for him. Right, Neefsi can come on. Newell can go out there. I think we can do this. Newell can play there. Gray, I guess, is going to have to do that. And it's None of it is ideal. You know what? Seems ridiculous. But why play two of our better players out of position when we can actually just do this? 
Is that a stupid thing to do in a World Cup final when we're already winning? Maybe, but it seems even stupider to play Newell out on the wing. We may as well play him. He's one of the best players in the world. He's won the Ballon d'Or multiple times. We may as well play him in his best position. Gray, we've seen what he can do as a striker. Neefsi's a natural supporting attacker anyway, so he can kind of nip in, duck in behind him. It's not as if Daniel's fit and raring to get on as well in this second half. He's on 86% conditioning. So we don't really have any more wide men. So we might as well go to a flat front three. And there's Newell again. Two of the, the two advanced forwards, I think that is. No, Nisi is the deep lying one, isn't he? But either way, England have just gone 2-0 up and it's Steve Newell with his second of the day. The flick on from Nisi. And oh my goodness, dare we believe with 45 minutes remaining in a World Cup final, dare we believe that it might be about to come home. And that's the first time I've said those words in this entire series. Germany, oh no, we've had a player sent off. I literally said the words and we got a player sent off and it's all falling apart. We can't leave a front three on now. Right, this is time for Diallo. And it's going to be Gray who comes off. And he's going to go in there. And just like in the semi-final, we've got to go down to 10 men. And we'll do that. Why did I say the words? Attempted fate right, far too soon. It's the first half, for goodness sake. Don't say the words, Kev. Goodness me. Ball over the top for Newell. Can he make it three? Of course he can't. Of course he can't, because it's all going wrong now. Right. Half time. Germany nil. England two. Does not tell the story at all, because we've used two of our substitutions already. We've had a player go off injured. We're using our third different tactic of the day. And we've had a player sent off. This is going to be a challenging second half. We've just got to see if we've got that grit and that determination that we showed in the uh, in the semi-final. I'm already looking in terms of getting Bruce on into the defensive midfield role and pushing Diallo a little bit further forward because we know how dangerous he can be from there. And we'll perhaps give it 15, 20 minutes. I don't want to make my third change too soon, but it is a change I think needs making. But maybe just not. It's Lind who I want to take off. Imagine him getting sent off just as I'm getting ready to take him off. We probably shouldn't be attacking anymore. We'll fiddle with that at the end of this move. I'm just a little bit loath to go too far. We're going to go to balanced. Which is, I never go balanced this early in a game. But we're down to 10 men. Have we just given away a penalty? What is going on? Come on. Oh, not like this. I said the words. I'm going to have to edit them out. It's going to look like I... I, I I've... I tempted the football manager gods and they are smiting me for my blasphemy. You don't say those words in an England World Cup game. Right, we are making the change. We're going to get Bruce on. And we're going to get Diallo further forward. And we're going to do that. Thirty minutes to go, a one-goal lead. We're going to go back to positive. I know I say back to positive. We haven't been on positive at any point. We're going two part. I don't want to go all out attacking, but at the same time, we can't sit back for half an hour when we're down to ten men. We'll just get ruined. We've got to. We've got to show some kind of attacking desire. We've left two strikers on. We're not playing a system that is about defending. We're still trying to attack and score goals. And this guy is very dangerous for Germany. He's causing us all kinds of problems. Emmanuel's just kicked the ball up in the air, which quite frankly is the best place for it. Just get it away from the goal. Oh, they're just running past us if we're not there. That's a penalty. What is going on? We are absolutely self-destructing. From 2-0 up and cruising, we've had a player sent off. We've had a ridiculous goal conceded. And now we've given away a penalty. I've never seen 15 minutes of... Oh, it's not a penalty. Okay. I'll stop the rant for a minute. I'm just trying to avoid coughing as well. Hope Future Kev caught that. Oh, dear. Right, Nixon Burke. Just kick him in the legs. That's it. And now Newell is clear. Steve Newell for a World Cup final hat trick. Oh, I was so tempted to say they think it's all over, but it's the 62nd minute. 
Bet he might have scored if I had it then. Let's tempt the gods back the other way. Oh. Oh, my word. Come on, England. I don't feel happy or confident. I'm not enjoying myself. We've got to go back to our attacking system. Oh! We've got no more substitutions left to make. We've just got to hope that the players who are on the pitch can somehow drag us out of this mess we've got ourselves into. And it's totally self-inflicted. Shelley is going to be enemy of the enemy of the state for the rest of his life for getting sent off the way he did there. And it's Germany with an 88th minute highlight. I wonder what's going to happen here. Yeah, I've played football manager before. I know what's coming. I might as well just leave the room. It's going to be hideous. That being said, Diallo is trying to get a counter-attack going. Surely we're not going to do it again. Neefsi, just get it to Newell. I mean, he doesn't. And now we've committed too many men forward. And now Germany have got the counter-attack on us. Somebody get the tackle in. It's end-to-end -end stuff all of a sudden. In the 88th minute of one of the, probably for a neutral, one of the most entertaining World Cup finals ever. Bruce plays it forward to Neefsi. Back to Wilson. Bruce again. Wilson lumps it forward for Newell, who doesn't manage to win his header. Um, Nixon Burke is that very, very hesitant. And, oh, it's gone wide. That's a huge miss. That felt like we were being given a second chance. Germany have now had a player injured when they've used all their substitutions. If they're about to join us on 10 men, that could be really significant. Passionately, time to dig in, give it everything you've got. Can we make another substitution? Now it's extra time. Who is the most tired man on the pitch? Jonathan Frost. We can. So Russell is on for him. Come on, boys. Extra time in the World Cup final. It's the way it has to be done, apparently. We can, it can't be easy. Oh, I'm having a horrible afternoon. Um, oh, sugar plums. I think that's probably it. Because we haven't looked like doing anything since we went down to 10 men. From the moment we went down to 10 men, it's all gone wrong. And... They've got another free kick now. We're going to demand more. We've got 15 minutes. More than 15 minutes. 20 minutes. To try and find an equaliser. Oh, no. Oh, Bevins with a lovely save. It doesn't really matter, though. We've got it. We've got to do something. Somebody's got to do something. We lost in the World Cup final two years ago. And it looks like history is going to repeat itself. And not in the way we wanted history to repeat itself today. 15 minutes left in a World Cup final. How tall is Tony Bevins? Only six foot one. No point sending him forward for corners. Let's try swapping these two over. See if that makes any kind of difference. Get him doing box to box in there. Um, make him attacking. We've got to go very attacking. Oh, how I wish I had Lee Cook at my disposal right now. More. Come on, I've lost my voice for this. But it's Germany with the attack again. And we just need the ball. But look how much space we're giving them. We are just absolutely... We look lost out there. Playing, playing 10 men for so long. At the end of such a long tournament. And that's it. Germany have won the World Cup. I'm never, I'm never playing a series on beyond the Champions League final win ever again. It's been nothing but pain and frustration since the Cerner Jackie final in the Champions League. And this just gave it, this whole tournament has just been about giving us hope and then kicking me in the nuts. Hideous. That's the last time you'll see me manage England on FM20, that's for sure. Not happy. I'm going to immediately resign after the game. And we'll be back tomorrow with a look four years in the future.
So five years after the end of the Bourne management period. Uh, so we'll get to see how Bourne have got on without me. And we'll also get to see how England get on without me, as that's what they're going to be doing going into that next World Cup. So let's uh, retire. And Kevin Chapman is no more. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.